Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Got another good video for you here today. It's a review video on the Yak Gadget Power Pole. It's actually an on the water review, so stick around. Got some clips on the water. Uh, you might even see a few fish caught. Hit that subscribe button for us so I can comment on the videos. Thanks for watching. Welcome back guys. So if you guys remember last winter, I guess, went to East Tennessee Fishing Show with Mike and Scott and we came across uh, John Thomas of Yak Gadget. They make accessories for kayaks and he was at the East Tennessee Fishing Show and we saw his manual power pole set up for Jackson Coosa HDs. Those setups intrigued us and we ended up purchasing a setup from him. Uh, each one of us bought one. So I came home and installed it and made a video of that installation. You'll see it pop up up here in the corner in just a second. I've got an info card if you'd like to go watch that video. Ended up installing that on my Kusa HD and ended up using a few trips on the river. Uh, so I thought I'd do a review of that usage i got some clips coming up showing how easy it is to use that power pole. Uh, I never had an issue with the power pole as far as using it. Going up and down, it was real smooth. It stopped me. It always stopped me. Now, the only issue I had was the noise that the power pole made. The first set of clips you'll see uh, show me using the power pole. I had installed a metal sleeve on the bottom of the power pole, I was tying the rope to an eye bolt in that metal sleeve. So that metal sleeve made it real easy for me to install that power pole when I got to the river. But the metal sleeve posed problems when I dropped that thing in the river. It made a tremendous noise. It echoed up through my kayak. That made me wonder if the fish were actually hearing that underwater, and they probably were. You'll see that in the upcoming clips here, and you'll hear that noise. Golly, there's one spot he says it hit the water. Luke, I mean, as soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it. He's in the swift water. A little bit better fish. Come on through there. Ain't bad. He's probably about 14 or so. About 13 three quarters.
hate that thing's so loud. So these next set of clips you'll see was a different trip out on the river with the power pole. I had actually cut about 20 inches off the power pole uh, when I originally took it out. It was an eight foot pole and I cut about 20 inches off just to reduce the weight of that pole and to also get rid of a feeling, a top heavy feeling that I had when the power pole was in the up position. Made the pole shorter to reduce that tipsy feeling that I had. I didn't like that feeling was on the water. I also removed that metal sleeve thinking that maybe, just maybe, removing that metal sleeve would cut down on some of the noise. And it did cut down on some of the noise, but it's still really noisy. You can hear in these upcoming clips. Makes a lot of damn noise. What if the power pole does that? I don't know. It don't grab as good without that metal thing on it either. Don't grab as good as that metal thing on it either. Yeah. So, uh, while I'm sitting here changing baits, I'll talk about the Yak Gadget manual power pole. So, if you saw my installation video, you saw where I installed it. And we already had a pole. We didn't buy the poles from John. and had an eight foot pole, so eight foot pole, we uh, used the metal sleeve on the bottom of the pole worked like it's supposed to. Um, I'm actually using it right now and I've got it down and it's holding me in the river. Um, I guess the drawback to it is um, So this power pole with the metal sleeve on it is real noisy. And eight foot pole is way too long. So I brought it home after the last trip and I cut 20 inches off the top of the pole. And I took the metal sleeve off the bottom of the pole. And I'm just running a regular pole now with a hole drilled through it, no metal sleeve on it. Um, that metal sleeve was just way, way loud in the river. And unfortunately, this uh, this sleeve that I have on it now is way, way loud. I mean, it is loud when it hits the river, uh, hits the bottom of the river. That's the only bad drawback. Uh, I've got my power pole running on a dog leash anchor system, sort of like a drag chain. Um, so I like that part where it's uh, uh, running on this drag uh, dog leash. I like that about it. But I'll keep on using it. Uh, it works really good, holds you really good in the river. It's just a little loud. And here I'll bring it up and let you see easy to bring up with this dog leash. Probably see it coming up there. And it's easy to go down this dog leash. But you can hear it's pretty loud when it hits the bottom. Uh, in current, in current, the problem is uh, it doesn't stop you immediately. It sort of drags the bottom looking for a place to grab. And that's where all the noise comes from. It's really, really loud. But I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to work on it and uh, change some things up and see what happens. I really like the concept. Uh, I'd say in lake, it works perfect in lake. No doubt it works perfect in lake. Uh, but I'll see how it goes.
I'm not going to give up on it. John makes good product. Yeah, Gadget makes good product, good company to deal with, uh, very reasonable, great customer service. John's always answered uh, any questions that I might have when I was installing, he answered right off. And uh, so it's he's a great guy to deal with. So uh, we'll talk more about this here in a little bit. So my review of the power pole is it's an awesome setup. The way John has configured the power pole, the way it works um, manually, it works great. I never had an issue with it. It was easy to take up, it was easy to raise, it was easy to lower. I had mine set up on a dog leash, which made it really, really easy to lower it, especially. I didn't have to handle a rope. I just hit a button and the thing lowered. And then when I wanted to raise it up, of course I had to pull the slack up and let it back into the dog leash, but it still worked great. The only bad thing about the power pole is the noise it made. In the rivers that I float, I have real rocky bottoms, rock shelves, and that power pole, when it would drop, it would move along the bottom looking for a place to grab. And as it moved, it made a tremendous noise, and I wondered if that scared fish. Uh, I don't know that it hurt me as far as catching fish, but it was a really loud noise. It just reverberated up through the kayak and out the top of that pole. Uh, you can hear it on my back camera really loud. And there's even one clip, I guess you saw, where Mike Kinnick was probably 10 yards away from me and he could hear it really bad. And he even said that it was really loud. Uh, but the product worked great, held up great. My only issue was the noise. Um, if there's a way that you can configure that bottom of that pole to where it would dampen the noise, it would be great. John Thomas makes good products for kayakers. I don't want anybody to think that this is a bad review. I don't think it's a bad review. It just didn't work for me in my rivers. Uh, I think for a lake, it'd be great. I think if you had rivers with sandy bottoms, it would be awesome. But that's my review of the product. Uh, visit Yak Gadget at www.yakgadget.com. I will drop a link in the description. I'll also drop links to my installation video in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on the videos. Tell us about how your Yak Gadget power pole works. We'd love to hear about it. Thanks for tuning in.